many of an enterprise's sensitive files use standardized forms, including healthcare and tax documents. These forms often contain information that's crucial to the organization, so finding and preventing them from leaving the enterprise is an important step for good data protection. Fortunately, IT teams can accomplish this with Zscaler indexed document matching. Admins just index their file of choice with the index tool, and the underlying form's fingerprint is uploaded to the Zero Trust Exchange. From there, DLP finds any other instances of that form and prevents them from leaving the enterprise, both inline and at rest. Let's turn it over to my colleague for a demo. So IDM, when you log into the Zscaler index tool, so let me, let me just log back in here. Um, your EDM templates would be as it is. You will have a new tab called IDM. And within IDM, there are two ways you can create a template. A template is nothing but a collection of documents that you would like to match, right? So uh, if you would like to match a bunch of financial documents together or medical documents together, you can group these documents together in what we call as a template. Now, two ways to create a template. You can man, there's a manual template as well as a scheduled template. So let's go through the manual template first. I have a manual template here. I click on this. Um, it's very, very simple. You manually upload documents and it will index the document. It's as simple as that. You click on the upload file, you, you drag and drop a document and then it will index that document. That's, it's as simple as that. You know, for testing purposes, for something like a small project or an exception, um, you know, the manual template is perfect. But when you have a large number of documents, let's say you have hundreds of documents or thousands of documents you want to index, uploading them one by one might be painful. So for that, we have what we call a schedule IDM template. In the schedule IDM template, you just give it a template name. Then you provided the IP address of a server on which you've hosted all your files. You provide the port you provide the file path, the path in which all the sensitive files are there. So you could have two different templates. Both templates can match to the same host, but might have two different file paths. Now, what you also do is that we need an automated method to go and fetch the files from the server, which is hosting those files. So you would download our public SSH key. Um, on that host, you would create a user with the username that you copy here. And then once you copy that, you would actually go and create the user and there's a verify button. Once this is done, you can verify and make sure that the connection works fine. After that, you can repeat the schedule, maybe on a weekly basis or a monthly basis. You can select your time zones. And basically every Tuesday at 12.30 AM in this particular example, it'll go and index all the documents in the storage location. So this is the scheduled IDM template. Now, once this schedule is done, you can go back to ZIA and then in ZIA under data loss prevention inside index templates, we now have a new tab called index document match. Your templates will show up over here. The number of documents indexed, when was it lost index that will show up. Now, once this shows up, it no you now know that your IDM templates are in sync between the index tool as well as the ZIA cloud. This should take order of minutes. It's very, very quick. Once this is done, you can go and then create your DLP dictionaries. Uh, so when you add a DLP dictionary, we now have a new option called index document match. When you select that, you can select one or more. If you have multiple indexes, you can support, mul you can choose multiple indexes. And then for each of them, we ask for a match accuracy, low, medium, high, right? So high, roughly we match about 90% of the document. Medium, it should match 70% of the document and low should match roughly 40% of the document. So those are our thresholds today um, on how close we want to match. So I already have a template here called tax forms. So tax forms IDM, which has my tax forms at low. And then in a DLP engine, you can also select this in the DLP engine. So I have something called tax forms IDM. And when you select an IDM template, you've already selected the accuracy. So you do not need to select account here. IDM could be combined with any other dictionaries. For example, if you have something like, you know, credit card keywords 
any other dictionaries you want, whether it's EDM based or regular expression based, you can combine it along with IDM.